Hello, so welcome to today's lesson. Today we're going through the method of least squares as we did in our previous video. I remember in our previous video, we did how to fit a linear function to a set of points using the method of least squares. Um, but today what we're going to do, we're going to learn how to fit an exponential function. So an exponential function of this form here. I'm Guido Canrindo, a third year student of mathematics KNST. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. And please like the videos if they help you. Thank you very much. So we are going to use a concept from our previous video where we try to fit a set of points with um, a linear function. So if you haven't watched that one, I will encourage you to watch that. If not, you might find it a bit difficult understanding this because you are going to apply lots of principles from that area so recall that for the linear function when you want to fit a linear function to a set of points we it is of this form y equals a plus bx and we try to find for a and b so the formula to do so our a was given as the mean of y minus b times the mean of x and b was given as this as we can see here all right so for the exponential you know the exponential is of the form y equals a e b x we try to make it look like the linear which is of the form y equals a plus b x and the only way to do that is to take the natural log through the exponential form as we have here so Everything I said, that's what I've written here. So the only way to do this is to take the natural log through. That we take the ln through. So when you are going to get ln y, we call to ln of a e b x. By by the laws of logarithm, when you have ln a times b, this is same as ln a plus ln b. So that means this here is the same as ln a plus ln e b x. And when you have the ln of the exponents of anything so let's say we have this what we have here it could be anything then the answer is that thing which was here so ln of e2x will give you 2x ln of e minus 2 will give you minus 2 so that means that here we are going to have plus bx here i hope you get it so re remember that we had um this this thing here so ln y equals ln a plus bx. So when we compare it to the linear one, that means that our y is now ln y. Then our a is now ln a. But our b is the same as our b and our x is the same as our x. So that's what you can see here. So y is ln y and a is equal to ln a now. Our b is our b and our x is our x. So hence... The formula for estimating the parameters a and b are so instead of a equals y minus the mean of y minus b times the mean of x it will now be lin a so lin a will be equal to the mean of lin y minus b times the mean of x and you remember that the formula for estimating our b was this Right, but now our y is ln y, so that's why we have ln y here instead. And when we come here, wherever we see y, we put ln y there. So that's just how to estimate our a and our b. So you, it's very simple when you try to compare it to the uh, linear function. So now you have to go through a lot of differentiation, analysis, and the rest. But since we understood that, it makes this one so simple for us. So let's try to. Mm, solve a question with this so we have this table here so the question reads um the data points x y for i starting from one to five as we could see from the table are to be fitted by an exponential function and conclude that the exponential function that fits the data in the least square sense is this as we have here so that means we have to conclude that our e is 0 0.7670 and our b is 0 0.4040 
So let's start. So we are fitting an exponential function to the set of points we had there. So that's what we can see here. When we take the natural log through it, we get this. And when we make comparison, then that means that our lin a equals this. So when you try to make a the subject or just make a standalone, then a will be equal to. So we take the exponential. So we are going to get e, then the ln of y bar minus bx bar. So this is the formula to estimate just a, right? Then our b is equal to this, as we can see here, where everything has been given. So we've already gone through this. So we form our table. So this was our x's from the question. This is our y's from the question. So we just have to find ln of y. So when you come here, we find ln of 1.4509. It gives us 0 0.3722. Ln of this gives us this. After that, we sum everything and this is what we get. Then when you come here, we find the squares of our x's. So these are x's. We find the squares of them and when we sum them, we get this. Then here, we find the products of our x's and the ln y. And it gives us this. When we find the sum of the answers, we get this. So it means now we have these. right? And these are what you are going to use to find our a's and our, our a and our b. And the n is 5 for the question. Alright, so remember that our b was given us this, as you could see here. And this is giving us this. So when you're just making substitution, this, we computed it and we had this. And we also computed summation of x and we had this. This also gives us this. So when you do this computation, then you end up with 3.6992. Then it comes to finding for this. So this is given by this formula we have here. So our summation of x squared was this. Our summation of x all squared is this. And this our n. And when we do this computation, so we end up with this. So that means that now our b is giving us this over this. This is a formula. We already know that. So we just find the ratio of the two things that we had. And we get this here and you know in the question that was the answer then so that means we've proved for the b is left with the a we've done well let's laugh for ourselves <laughs> all right so now we have to compute our a so our a is giving us this formula here before we show why it is that so i think i don't have to explain anything <laughs> all right then our lin y bar is just the mean of our uh, lin y so that's given us this formula we have here and when you compute it we get this then our x by is the mean of our x's so when we also compute that we get 3.52112 so that means that our lin a will be equal to so remember this is the mean of our lin y this is our b this is the mean of x when we do this computation we end up with this as we can see here then to get our a, so we have to take the exponential. So when we do that, then we get e raised to the power whatever was here. Then um, when you put this on our calculator, we get a to be 0 0.7671. So remember, this is the form we want to fit the set of data points with an exponential function. And we've gotten our a to be this and our b to be 0 0.4040. So this is what we have and that's the final answer you see it is very 